Welcome. In this tutorial, we want to go over the newest version of the DAS to Blender Diffeomorphic Importer, now in, in its multiple parts. Um, as you will see on their webpage, around May 31st, they released it, and they now have a new versioning system because Blender 4.1.0 is the latest Blender version, they're going to match the numbers um, for the importer. Instead of being 1.7 going to 1.8, it's going from 1.7 to 4.10. As you can also see on their webpage, there are m multiple um, parts for different functions. The DAS importer, which is the core of it, the MA, HX runtime system, which is for the Make Human rig, so I won't be talking too much about that. And the BVH and FBX retargeter, I will be talking some about this. In previous videos, uh, in my DAS to Blender workflow for the animation part, I would always use the Auto Rig Pro, which is a paid Blender add add-on, and it works pretty good. And it works, oh no excellently for other uh, character types and if you don't have a rig at all you can rig your character through that but this is part of the DAS diffeomorphic importer so this is free so I mean this uh, I think this works well for your DAS characters and then there are three uh, functions that were split off from the DAS importer to keep this uh, file size smaller um, the DAS preset exporter, DAS rigging for special rig types, like things that have tails and things like that, and then shell editor. And even in their documentation, they mentioned that uh, this probably won't be of interest to everybody. So the main focus is going to be on these three, in which today we're go going to only talk about these two. Um, and then we're going to go over briefly how some gotchas with uh, installing the new versions of this installer. So if you go to their documentation, I think it's a little dated, out of date. So if you look at the contents of the zip file, for, for example, it talks about uh, older file versions. So, but even in that, the important thing I want to talk about is somewhere in here, it talks about um, needing to delete the old versions before you install the new ones. And that's, and because I, I tried to update it without deleting the old versions and I got some errors. So I would advise that you go ahead and do so. So for one, you what you would do in the Blender side is go to pr edit preferences, search for the diffeomorphic, and let's pretend for a moment that a version was like 1.7. I would go ahead and hit remove. If you want to be extra sure, you can go to this directory and remove the files from there as well. On the DAS side, what you would do is you would go to where you have your script for the the export part, and you go to, to the top where, where it's located, and right-click, go to Browse to Folder Location, and you would delete the old versions of the diffeomorphic PNG file and more importantly, the diffeomorphic folder. Then you would open up the zip from the current zip file from the website and drag the new versions of those, fo those files and folders into the same location for the DAS side. And then to install the Blender side, you would go back to you know, the preferences folder and you would go to install, and then you would look for your the downloaded zip file, which is here, and hit install add-on. And then when it when it installs, it initially will not be checked right here. Now, when I tried to do it, I had an error when I tried to check it the first time around, and nothing I did could make it make that error go away. So what I ended up doing was quitting Blender with this installed, open in Blender again, and then I was able to check this without having an error message come up. So keep that in mind if you're having issues. 
with that being said, we, with everything being installed, uh, you want to have a DAS character, of course. Here is a Genesis 9 character. I'm going to export this and it has some Genesis 2 clothing on it. So we'll see how that goes. This uh, is MMA Fighter. So you would save your character, which I already have, and then you would double click. And in the same directory, you want to save the DBZ file. You will hit save, which I've already done. And then you would go to Blender to import it. So I'm just going to go to a new file. Uh, and you can do this in two places. You can go to the add-on on the in the properties panel, hit DAS setup and easy import DAS or go to file import DAS. I'm going to hit the easy import DAS button, locate my character right here. Let's go over here to the options for import, leave it on DBZ file. Because I'm going to do cycles rendering, I will click on BSDF cycles only because it gives better IRA materials according to the description. Scrolling down, uh, I'll go ahead and check FACS or facts, facts details, FACS expressions in body just to have some more posing options. And hit easy import DAS. This will take a while, so we will be back when uh, that finishes installing. All right, we are back and our character has been imported. And let's see what we can do with the character. Uh, first, we want to set up our Blender scene correctly, so I want to use Cycles, GPU, Compute. Um, let's see, I want to go ahead and set up the denoising since we're just going down the list here. Make sure it's the right type of denoising. I want to use Optics. Whoop. No, Open Image Denoise. Let me use that and see how that works. Although the optics is faster, it seems. Light pass, I'm gonna do full global illumination. And then color management, I uh, just wanna make sure that it was on AGX. And I wanna do probably medium, high contrast. And delete this lamp. Um, I'm just going to use a paid add-on here for Pro Lighting Studio just to, to have some another type of lighting. And then we'll go to render view to see what everything looks like. Excuse me. So here's our Genesis 9 character. Now I want to animate it. Of course, I forgot to tell you earlier about uh, installing the retargeter. So go back to preferences. You want to install, go to where you installed the retargeter zip file, which should look like this. That was this. Oh, sorry. That was this uh, zip file right here. So you install that. Um, see what it looks like when you call when you install it. Should it look like animation BVH retargeter? Version is also 4.1.0. And that will be a brand new tab. Let's see, it's going to show up as BVH on your properties tab. So I got some animations from Mixamo. Um, it's a pretty popular site to get motion capture files. They usually come in um, FBX format, not BVH. So I'm glad that this add-on uses both now. So I think I got some boxing 
uh, FBX file. I hit download and then I use these default settings and then I hit download. So the best thing I could find to do instead of hitting load and retarget was to load the BVH file first and then retarget to select it to active. So I just got to find out what I did with the file. So let's do this boxing FBX file. I'm going to scale it to 0.1 because it ends up becoming pretty large. And for some reason, it hides your default character. I'll change this to timeline. We're just going to see the FBX file in action. So we just need to re-enable our collection for the character itself. So I'm going to first select the FBX, then select my character. I think the identify is just based on what you have selected at the time, so that's why that didn't work. So again, retarget. Now if I go through the timeline, you see my character is now performing the action. And then for the facial motion capture, we can go back to the DAS runtime tab. And let's go to morphs and FACS. Hmm, they must have took it out of, yeah, they took it out of here. Yep, move to BVH retarder. So it used to be in here where you can import a live link file or face cap file and now it's part of the retargeter so let's go back to the bvh let's see if i can find it facs make sure i have my rig selected and then under facs import live link file because that's the type i i was using Let's see where did I put it? Face cap. Even though I'm not using face cap, I just named it poorly. It's a live link file. It's a CSV file. The cow.csv from the live link. Let's see frame rate. Um, one frame per step. I'll leave that alone. New action. I don't want to delete anything else going on with what I apply to the character. So I'll uncheck new action. Head rotation, do I want to? I'll leave her head rotation on. No, I'll take it off because um, I don't want to, again, interfere with what's going on already. So just going to add the face motion to what I have here. I probably should have put the, oh, no, it, it actually, uh, took it back to zero so frame zero so that's good so I'm going to deselect the armature again or hide it and now you can see the character is kind of making a snarling face saying something as it's uh, preparing the box And let's see, I'm going to hit lock to lock the camera to view. And that is pretty much it. That is a quick run through of how you would use the new version of the 
Daz to Blender um, add-on from Diffeomorphic from Thomas Larson. Uh, hopefully this will be helpful um, as you use newer versions of Blender and get to use new features and again probably save a little bit of money from having to use the Auto Rig Pro add-on um, if you're not using it for other character types. Uh, this BVH import add-on will be fine for DAS characters. I don't know how well it would go for other character types but that's um, all the fun and experimentation so uh, hopefully this was helpful. Thanks. Have a blessed day.